one of those things that just makes you fall in love. If you look at a black and white picture or screen and then instantly has colors like, wow, your eyes just light up. And that's the importance of the color that it has to not just be there, but it has to be bright and vivid and true and basically light up your work. My love affair with permanent makeup began 18 years ago when I had my own eyebrows done. I was so young, so naive, I had them done and I was like, wow, I can wake up like this. I was totally mesmerized and I knew from that moment on I wanted to be a permanent makeup artist and started doing it every single day and still every time I do a new client, I, I love it. I'm having so much fun. And after 18 years, I still get to do something I love to do and give this joy to women of waking up with their eyebrows. But it was always such a struggle over these years. I literally have had the same clients. I've seen them like 10 times or more. And initially what I put into their skin has faded, has changed. I've got rainbows of colors in their eyebrows and I just feel so disappointed to let them down. So embarrassed that they're walking around with the art that I did. And that became my love-hate love struggle with my pigments, I just couldn't get pigments that would perform, that I could be so proud of and not be embarrassed when clients would call and say, um, I've got weird looking eyebrows. My grandkids are telling me that my eyebrows look weird. And I'm like, oh my God, hurry up, come in. Let me see you, let me fit you in as soon as possible so I can fix your eyebrows. I was letting my clients down and I was starting to doubt my own skills. I was really on this journey that I had to fix this problem and if I didn't do it like who was gonna do it and I had to go look for other sources I had to do something that was outside the box and look outside of my world and that's how I started to look into body tattoo inks I was really desperate and I started to do something that was completely opposite from what the traditional thinking was and what was considered taboo. I started turning to body tattoo inks. I started to think about why are these colors lasting in the skin almost forever and I can't get my work to last a year. Basically, if a tattoo artist is tattooing a brown dog, it doesn't become a pink dog or an orange dog or a green dog. And that's where I was headed. I thought I need to go in this direction. So I went against what people were telling me and started to foray into something new. And that's when I started to ask the biggest companies questions about how are they making their inks? Why are they getting results? And their answers were to me, we have to. Our inks have to perform. Clients rely on it, the artists are relying on it, and we cannot fail, otherwise we'd be out of business. So that's when I met Lou Rubino of World Famous Inks. His family has been in the pigment making business for over 50 years. And they make inks for the world's most famous tattoo artists that lay ink into people's skin every single day. And start to talk to him about, hey, what makes your ink so special and makes your product special? I started to find out about what were the secrets to making great inks. And I started to get smart. So for example, I then understood why my colors were changing. And that's because, for example, a color such as brown is made up of red, yellow, and black. And when one color would fade, it would leave behind a residual of the other colors. For example, if black would start to fade, I would get the combo of red and yellow. What's red and yellow? Orange. And if those colors aren't balanced and made well, made right, other colors would come through. So they need to be extremely stable across all formulations so they fade out to brown, 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 brown over time. They don't shift and become different colors. So now it was like finally I understood what was the secret and what I wanted to bring to my clients and what I wanted to have in my formulas. I wanted that magic bullet. To make inks 
for me was always, I was scared of it because as you know, I make microblades. People use them, they're safe, they're hygienic, they toss them. But inks is something that lasts in the skin forever. So I was really, really nervous about sharing my discovery with these inks, but I knew it was something that I couldn't hold back on because it was literally the last frontier. People are struggling day and night with their ink. I have clients with rainbows of different colors in their eyebrows. I spent a lot of time testing the inks. Me, along with my select colleagues, together we used this ink for two years before we released it. And I literally would tattoo one eyebrow with brand A and another eyebrow with my ink because I needed to see true performance. Like literally, I could sit here and tell you, oh, mine is better, it has A, B, and C, but I needed to see it on skin and on the same skin. Because as we know, like people have different lifestyles, different skin types, different ways they treat their skin. So I needed to test it on the same canvas to see how it would perform. So I basically tested on my best friends. <laughs> my husband, okay. People that I knew couldn't hate me over time. So what I noticed was on one side that I would test, let's say brand A, it would perform really well. The results were the same immediately after. One month later, two months after, but it was after 12 months, 14 months that I started to see the shift and then I would see this side starting to fade away, which was very typical. But my color was still there, it was still performing, and it did not shift. So what I did for months and months and months was monitor and test my best friends to see what it would look like. So what you can expect from the line is that the colors are very rich and heal true to tone. You don't have to mix them, you don't have to modify them. They have massive staying power for years, and they fade down very, very slowly. You barely have to do any touch-ups, so your work is gonna heal exactly the way that you put it in, regardless if it's microblading or machine work. It's not thick like what you're used to. It's a bit thinner, and the reason for that is because it doesn't have filler. It's extremely concentrated. There's only pure pigment in there with a little bit of glycerin and preservative. That's it. So when you use it, you're gonna find that it flows very, very easily. And in the beginning, it's gonna take you some time to get used to this new texture. And once you're used to it, you're gonna be so shocked by the results because you're gonna get 90% retention. You just have to be patient when you use it and use it with precision. Besides just giving you these wonderful colors, I've also made a super, super simple color chart. So it's gonna make all the guesswork non-existent. It looks like this. It comes in every set. You can even download it from the website. Super simple for anybody to use, to match to any skin tone. You literally just look at the color chart, you look at the bottle, and you get it right away. I designed the line so carefully and so specifically so it would be rich. And that's the most important thing that I wanted to get through to the line is that the colors are not just there, is that they are rich and they're vivid. And that was always my struggle was, I always would have kind of like dull, gray, eh, mediocre results. But with this line, the way I've designed them is that actually they're very, Many of the colors are very warm, and that's what gives it that bump, that boost. Um, oftentimes, artists would find that, and even myself, that the colors look kind of gray and dull, which is okay, and that's why the clients were often saying to me, I still put powder on it, because they're looking for more of that richness. And that's what you're gonna find is in this line, they're very more warm and rich and bold for that pop and you're gonna see that's gonna stand the test of time. And most importantly, you're gonna be able to cover up those unwanted eyebrows for good. The line is very simple with seven colors. I've named them exactly after what the colors are. Ash brown, 
blonde, gray, medium brown, dark brown, bold brown, and ebony. There's nothing more or nothing less. There's a color for every scenario and you can mix them even though you don't have to and they're gonna work for any of your clients, whether they're Asian, if they're black, if they're Latin, if they're Caucasian, it's gonna work across the board and you don't need to modify them. You're gonna get true rich colors with no ashy results and you can use it for machine or microblading. And what you see is what you get.